Hysterectomy, the surgical removal of the uterus, is often recommended for various severe gynecological conditions. However, due to the significant impact of this procedure on a woman's fertility and overall health, one may seek alternative treatments too. Most common condition for which women are advised is hysterectomy are generally bleeding, excessive bleeding during periods or throughout the cycle. Some women are also advised for discharge PV. So these two, I think, are the most common reason, non-cancerous reason for which they are uh, advised hysterectomy. As regards to bleeding uh, for vaginal is concerned, if the uterine cause is there, then we go for uh, contraceptive pills. They are there, medicines are there. And uh, uh, we also use progesterones for that. Uh, Medroxy, progesterone, acetate uh, injections are available. Uh, I love to use intrauterine devices also. They are progesterone releasing devices. I love them. It, it gives immense results to me, especially in early childbearing age group where we definitely want to preserve the uterus and it does well for a couple of years. Determining the most suitable alternative treatment to a hysterectomy for a particular patient involves a comprehensive evaluation and multiple factors. By accessing these individual aspects, healthcare providers can recommend personalized treatment plans that may include medication, minimally invasive procedures, or lifestyle modifications. Treatment generally depends upon the age of the patient, first of all, and the symptoms she is coming up with. And uh, if her tests are okay, there is nothing uh, malignant about it, if it's a benign lesion, we always try to control it with the help of medicine, especially in younger age group, less than 40 years of age. Uh, we would like to preserve the uterus and it also depends upon the patient's choice also sometimes they are not willing for hysterectomy so we do keep them on conservative management if it works for them preserving fertility is a crucial consideration in the decision making process for women facing conditions that may involve a hysterectomy for many women the ability to conceive and bear children is a fundamental aspect of their life plans and personal identity thus when evaluating treatment options for conditions like fibroids, endometriosis, and abnormal uterine bleeding, preserving fertility becomes a central focus. So entirely depends upon the patient. You know, if she wants to preserve her uterus and she is desirous of uh, childbearing, we cannot remove her uterus straight away. We will need to preserve because we do see patients with heavy bleedings. They do conceive with appropriate treatment and definitely if we are going ahead with hysterectomy in these patients it's not going to help them with childbearing. So we have to be more conservative and with the advancing age of marriages today we need to be more conservative in our approach for hysterectomies.